the sum of first n terms of an arithmetic progression is 3n plus n square. Then, number 1, find first term and sum of first two terms. Number 2, find second, third and fifteenth term. Solution It is given that Sn is equal to 3n plus n square. Therefore, S n minus 1 will be equal to 3 into n minus 1 plus n minus 1 whole square is equal to 3n minus 3 plus n square minus 2n plus 1. Therefore, S n minus 1 is equal to n square plus n minus 2. Now, Tn is equal to Sn minus Sn minus 1. Substituting the values, we get Tn is equal to 3n plus n square minus in bracket n square plus n minus 2 is equal to 3n plus n square minus n square minus n plus 2. Here, plus n square and minus n square gets cancelled out. Therefore, we get Tn is equal to 2n plus 2. Now, the first term that is T1 will be equal to 2 into 1 plus 2, which is equal to 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Therefore, first term is equal to 4. Now, Sn is equal to 3n plus n square. To find the sum of first two terms, we have S2 is equal to 3 into 2 plus 2 square is equal to 6 plus 4 which is equal to 10. Therefore, sum of first two terms is equal to 10. Now, to find second, third and fifteen term, consider Tn is equal to 2n plus 2. Therefore, T2 is equal to 2 into 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 plus 2 which is equal to 6. Similarly, T3 is equal to 2 into 3 plus 2 is equal to 6 plus 2 which is equal to 8 and t15 is equal to 2 into 15 plus 2 is equal to 30 plus 2 is equal to 32 therefore second third and the 15th term are 6 8 and 32 respectively Find four consecutive terms in an arithmetic progression whose sum is minus 54 and the sum of first and the third term is minus 30. Solution Let the four consecutive terms be a minus 3d, a minus d, a plus d, a plus 3D. The sum of four consecutive terms is given as minus 54. Therefore, we have A minus 3D plus A minus D plus A plus D plus A plus 3D is equal to minus 54. Here, minus 3D and plus 3D gets cancelled out. Similarly, minus d and plus d gets cancelled out. Therefore, we have 4a is equal to minus 54. Therefore, a is equal to 
minus 54 divided by 4. Therefore, A is equal to minus 13.5. Now, it is also given that the sum of first and the third term is minus 30. Therefore, we have A minus 3D plus A plus D is equal to minus 30. Therefore, 2A minus 2D is equal to minus 30. Taking out 2 common, we have 2 in bracket A minus D is equal to minus 30. Therefore, A minus D is equal to minus 30 divided by 2. Therefore, A minus D is equal to minus 15. But, we know that A is equal to minus 13.5. Putting this value, we get minus 13.5 minus D is equal to minus 15. Therefore, minus D is equal to minus 15 plus 13.5. Therefore, minus D is equal to minus 1.5. Therefore, D is equal to 1.5. Now, putting the values of A and D, we get T1, that is the first term, is equal to A minus 3D is equal to minus 13.5 minus 3 into 1.5 is equal to minus 13.5 minus 4.5 is equal to minus 18. Similarly, T2 that is the second term is equal to A minus D is equal to minus 13.5 minus 1.5 is equal to minus 15. Further, T3 that is the third term is equal to A plus D is equal to minus 13.5 plus 1.5 which is equal to minus 12. Further, T4 that is the fourth term is equal to A plus 3D is equal to minus 13.5 plus 3 into 1.5 is equal to minus 13.5 plus 4.5 which is equal to minus 9. Therefore, four consecutive terms are minus 18, minus 15, minus 12 and minus 9. In winter, the temperature at a hill station from Monday to Friday is an arithmetic progression. The sum of the temperatures of Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday is zero and the sum of temperatures of Thursday and Friday is 15. Find the temperature of each day of the five days. Solution let the temperature at hill station from Monday to Friday be A minus 2D, A minus D, A, A plus D and A plus 2D. The sum of temperatures of Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday is 0. Therefore, we have A minus 2D plus A minus D plus a is equal to 0. Therefore, 3A minus 3D is equal to 0. Taking out 3 common, we get 3 in bracket A minus D is equal to 0. Therefore, A minus D is equal to 0 divided by 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, we have A is equal to D. Now, 
the sum of the temperatures of Thursday and Friday is 15. Therefore, A plus D plus A plus 2D is equal to 15. Therefore, 2A plus 3D is equal to 15. But, we know that A is equal to D. Therefore, 2D plus 3D is equal to 15. Therefore, 5D is equal to 15. Therefore, D is equal to 15 divided by 5. Therefore, D is equal to 3. If D is equal to 3, then A is also equal to 3. Now, we shall find out the temperatures from Monday to Friday. Number 1. A minus 2D is equal to 3 minus 2 into 3 is equal to minus 3. Similarly, A minus D is equal to 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. Number 3. A is equal to 3. Number 4. A plus D is equal to 3 plus 3 which is equal to 6. And A plus 2D is equal to 3 plus 2 into 3 is equal to 9. Therefore, the temperature of each of the 5 days are minus 3, 0, 3, 6 and 9. In a school, a plantation program was arranged on the occasion of World Environment Day on a ground of triangular shape. The trees are to be planted as shown in this figure. One plant in the first row, two plants in the second row, three plants in the third row and so on. If there are 25 rows, then find the total number of plants to be planted. Solution As per the given information, one plant is planted in the first row, two plants in the second row, three plants in the third row and so on, and 25 plants in the 25th row. The number of plants in the rows 1, 2, 3 and so on up to 25 are in arithmetic progression with the first term T1 or A is equal to 1 and the 25th term T25 is equal to 25. Now to find the total number of plants that is S25, we have to use the formula Sn is equal to n upon 2 into T1 plus Tn. Therefore, S25 is equal to 25 upon 2 into 1 plus 25, which is equal to 25 upon 2 into 26. Therefore, S25 is equal to 25 into 13, which is equal to 325. Therefore, the total number of plants to be planted is 325. Neela saves in a Mahila Bachat Gut rupees 2 on the first day, rupees 4 on the second day. Rupees 6 on the third day and so on. What will be her saving in the month of February 2010? Solution It is given that Neela saves in a Mahila Bachat Gut Rupees 2 on the first day, Rupees 4 on the second day, Rupees 6 on the third day and so on. Therefore, the saving 2, 4, 6 and so on 
are in arithmetic progression. With the first term 2 and the common difference 2. Now, we know that the number of days in the month of February is 28. Hence, n is equal to 28. Now, to find her saving in the month of February 2010, we have a is equal to 2, d is equal to 2 and n is equal to 28. Using formula, Sn is equal to n upon 2 in bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Substituting the values, we get S28 is equal to 28 divided by 2 in bracket 2 into 2 plus 28 minus 1 into 2 is equal to 14 in bracket 4 plus 27 into 2 is equal to 14 into 4 plus 54. Therefore, S28 is equal to 14 into 58 which is equal to 812. Therefore, Neela's saving in the month of February 2010 is rupees 812. Find three consecutive terms in an arithmetic progression whose sum is minus 3 and product of their cubes is 512. Solution Let the three consecutive terms B, A minus D, A and A plus D. It is given that their sum is minus 3. Therefore, we have A minus D plus A plus A plus D is equal to minus 3. Here, minus D and plus D gets cancelled out and we get 3a is equal to minus 3. Therefore, a is equal to minus 3 divided by 3. Therefore, a is equal to minus 1. Further, it is also given that the product of the cubes is 512. Hence, we get a minus d whole cube into a cube into a plus D whole cube is equal to 512. Taking cube root on both the sides, we get A minus D into A into A plus D is equal to 8. Here, according to the formula, A minus B into A plus B is equal to a square minus B square, we have A into A minus D into A plus D is A square minus D square is equal to 8. But here we know that A is equal to minus 1. Therefore, putting this value, we have minus 1 in bracket minus 1 square minus D square is equal to 8. After removing the brackets, we have 1 minus d square is equal to minus 8. Therefore, 1 plus 8 is equal to d square. Therefore, d square is equal to 9. Taking square root on both the sides, we get d is equal to plus or minus 3. Now, put a is equal to minus 1 and d is equal to 3. We have t1 that is first term is equal to a minus d is equal to minus 1 minus 3 which is equal to minus 4. 
Similarly, T2, that is the second term, is equal to A, which is equal to minus 1. Also, T3 is equal to A plus D, which is equal to minus 1 plus 3, is equal to 2. Therefore, the three consecutive terms are minus 4, minus 1 and 2. Similarly, putting A is equal to minus 1 and D is equal to minus 3, the three terms obtained are 2, minus 1 and minus 4. Question number 7. Babu Bhai borrows rupees 4000 and agrees to repay with a total interest rupees 500 in 10 installments. Each installment being less than the preceding installment by rupees 10. What should be the first and the last installment? Solution Each installment is less than preceding installment by rupees 10. Therefore, the installments are in arithmetic progression with a common difference minus 10. Babubai agrees to repay rupees 4000 with a total interest of rupees 500 in 10 installments. That is, S10 is equal to 4,000 plus 500. Therefore, S10 is equal to 4,500. Here we have N is equal to 10, D is equal to minus 10 and S10 is equal to 4,500. We have to find the first installment that is A. And the last installment that is T10. Sn is equal to n upon 2 in bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Therefore S10 is equal to 10 upon 2 in bracket 2a plus 10 minus 1 into minus 10. Therefore, 4500 is equal to 5 into 2a plus 9 into minus 10. Therefore, 4500 is equal to 5 into 2a minus 90. 4500 divided by 5 is equal to 2a minus 90. Therefore, 900 is equal to 2a minus 90. Therefore, 900 plus 90 is equal to 2a. Therefore, 2a is equal to 990. a is equal to 990 divided by 2. Therefore, a is equal to 495. Now, t10 is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d which is equal to 495 plus 10 minus 1 into minus 10 is equal to 495 plus 9 into minus 10 which is equal to 495 minus 90. Therefore, T10 is equal to 405. Therefore, the first installment is rupees 495 and the last installment is rupees 405. Vijay invest some amount in the National Savings Certificate. For the first year, he invests rupees 500. For the second year, he invests rupees 700. For the third year, he invests rupees 900. 
and so on. How much amount he has invested in 12 years? Solution It is given that for the first year Vijay invest rupees 500, for second year rupees 700, for the third year rupees 900 and so on. Therefore, the investment for each year that is 500, 700, 900 and so on are in arithmetic progression. With the first term, A is equal to 500. Common difference D is equal to 700 minus 500 which is equal to 200. It is also given that Vijay invested for 12 years. Therefore, N is equal to 12. Now, to find the total amount invested in 12 years, we have to use the formula Sn is equal to N upon 2 into in bracket 2A plus N minus 1 into D. Therefore, S12 is equal to 12 upon 2 into in bracket 2 into 500 plus 12 minus 1 into 200 which is equal to 6 into in bracket 1000 plus 2200. Therefore, S12 is equal to 6 into 3200 which is equal to 19,200. Therefore, Vijay invested rupees 19,200 in 12 years.